Welcome to Conversations, Cocktails, and Connections, the talk show, the podcast, and our happy hour. Each week, we mix up a new-to-us cocktail and share our happy hour conversation with you. We've been friends for over 20 years, we're both business owners, and we have opposite personalities but many shared interests. We think that makes us a perfect pairing as we talk about entertainment, pop culture, shopping, and local to Arkansas happenings. We are so happy you've decided to hang out with us today. Visit our website to learn more or get in touch with ideas, feedback, or accolades, and definitely subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. And while you're there, leave us a rating and review. It really helps. Cheers. Welcome to Conversations, Cocktails, and Connections. I'm Amy Hester. I'm Emily Reeves. Cheers, friends. Cheers. This is quite tasty. We're enjoying a very light spritz. It's, it's really good. It's really light. Very, very yes. light. Nice spritzy cocktail. It is called the Peachy. And it has Italicus, which is a bergamot liqueur that I searched high and low for and finally found in Little Rock. It's got a peach liqueur, some grapefruit bitters, Prosecco, and club soda, of course, the spritz components that you need. And uh, it's very good. It's very light and refreshing. Garnish with a peach. So uh, you can get the recipe on our website. Yeah. It'll be posted there. It is good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. Now, it's like kind like of the, the flavors are starting to meld together. When I first took a sip, it still it didn't taste very flavorful. But yeah. now that the, like, ice is kind of starting to melt a little bit, it's starting to dilute it, and all the flavors are melding together. It's Love it. It's very exciting. I like it. Yeah. I, ne- I needed this. You know, I was out of town this weekend. Mm-hmm. And... The whole way back, we're driving back, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just not gonna drink anymore. I'm not drinking anymore. And then what did I do when I got home last night? I had a bottle of wine, like, <laughs> like with, it was like leftover from this the trip. And I was uh-huh. like, oh, let's just open it. I'll sit down and relax a little yeah, bit. Yeah, sometimes you just need it to unwind, and like you're kind of yeah. probably visiting with Matt and telling him about yeah. the weekend and everything. I think I the dogs miss me more than they've ever missed me. <laughs> that's funny I um I've got a trip planned in a few weeks and I'm not taking Bunny with me and it'll be the first time she mm. hasn't been without me in like almost three years because I've been taking her with me every time I go to yeah. Shreveport you know which is the only place I've really traveled <laughs> and um so she hasn't been a night without me in several years who's gonna who's gonna miss each other more you or her <laughs> I don't know it might be equal yeah because she's, she's gotten real real cozy lately, so. Oh, sweet. Yeah, June's the one that's been like, she's following me around, she's playing. I mean, it's just really cute. I feel loved. But then again, <laughs> sometimes I came home at dinner time, so it's like, do they really miss me or are they just hungry? Uh-huh. You were the one that fed them? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course, yeah. that's how it goes. So what else has been going on? Oh, there's been a lot going on. I mean, well, I need to hear about your trip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I had family in town all weekend. So we were like from Thursday night to, you know, Saturday through Saturday night. We were just constantly going. Yeah. And um, so I'm kind of exhausted in addition to work has been insane. Yeah. And um, I've watched a few things I want to tell you about. So we've got a lot to talk about. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So it rained really hard here, right? Saturday, because I saw that chili fights got... Like got yes, rained out. For yes, the, over I think. The I mean, they 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 pro, they postponed it, but they did that like before Saturday because I think they knew the yeah. rain was called for. But yeah, it rained all day Saturday. It's crazy. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I called Matt and he, <laughs> I was trying to tell him something mm-hmm. on Saturday, and because I was out of town, I went to Round Top, Texas, to the Round Top Vintage Antique Show mm-hmm. thing that was super fun, and I'll get into that in a second, but um. I called him and I was trying to tell him this story and I didn't even get to finish because you know like if you're telling a story and you're kind of excited about telling somebody mm-hmm. and then something happens to postpone it and like okay well now I don't really want to tell it again. Yeah. Oh yeah for sure. I mean I just didn't even like say anything because he was having trouble with because the dogs had just been out and we have to like well we always like have to rub like clean them off you know mm-hmm. like get the towels because the damn basset hounds will freaking walk out out there well only one she'll mm-hmm. walk out there and she doesn't care that it's in the mud or she doesn't care if she's in the rain the other two are like prissy and don't want to get wet mm-hmm. she doesn't care <laughs> and so she's the one that's a loose cannon for all things which basset hound june okay yeah i didn't say that did i you said basset but, hounds and then you said the other two yeah and then I was, I was yeah confused. so june's the wild card for on everything so she was he was like dealing with her and i could hear him going Get over here. Get over here. And I was just like, okay, well, I'll talk later. <laughs> so we'll forget about it right now. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. But, um, so tell me about the trip. Okay. So we left last Thursday. Mm-hmm. It was about seven, eight hour drive from Little Rock. 
And it actually went really quickly. We left at 6.30 in the morning. Did you actually leave at 6.30? Yeah, no, we left the, our house at 6 uh-huh. a.m. So Emily came over here. We left my house at 6. And then we went to pick up the other two girls. And what t- we would have left immediately had we not had a little trouble because I borrowed this um, thing. I don't even know what you call it. Like this rack that attacks just to your Trains back end. Hitch. Yeah. And so, and then you put tubs on it because we were thinking we're going to spend a lot, you know, we're going to mm-hmm. be shopping, right? Like mm-hmm. just in case we didn't have enough room because that was always the dilemma. Right. With like, because I've always heard the whole time, if you go to this show, you must have a trailer a big car, whatever. So I was a little nervous. And at first we were going to rent a U-Haul, but I'm glad we didn't because I spent enough and didn't need a U-Haul. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I mean, and so anyway, we we left and it was a very nice drive. I think we got in about two in the afternoon. Oh, that's good. So you had like yeah. time to kind of like get settled and everything. Yeah. So we got, as soon as we got there, the hotel we stayed in is so cute. It's called the Dixie Motel. It's this young, this couple bought it and they have been redoing each room and each uh, and it is so freaking cute. And let me tell you the customer service. They were on site, like either the wife or the husband. So she mm-hmm. works the later shift and then he'll come in and set out breakfast. And the room was awesome. We were only the second people to stay in the room we stayed in. Oh wow. It was so cute. Did all four of y'all stay in one room? No, we had two separate rooms. Okay. Um and the breakfast, okay, so I didn't even know that breakfast was included and mm-hmm. stuff. And so the way our room was located, there's, um, was in kind of like the side and there's a little courtyard with like picnic tables and stuff for you to, to hang out, bistro lights and stuff for in the evening if you wanted to hang out or, um, eat breakfast out there, dinner, whatever. Mm-hmm. But the little, so we have like a key that goes into the breakfast. So go in there that morning. I mean, there's like whole grain, m- like breads and there's um english muffins and there's grapes and berries and granola honey and peanut butter and jelly um there's oranges and an orange like to make freshly squeezed orange juice i love the detail we're getting on the uh, uh, breakfast spread listen, <laughs> I, oh the best part there's a bowl of hard-boiled farm raised eggs that were the be- most beautiful colors of like <laughs> blues i mean I, it's just like nothing I've ever seen before. <laughs> then you open this fridge and you can get like, um, you can get yogurt. And I mean, it was just like the details. <laughs> I I'm, I was blown away. I mean, it was just so fun. Anyway, I could go in. Th- that's a long story, but it was, it was great. It's called the Dixie Motel and it's in Brenham. Okay. So Brenham is about 15 minutes from the, where the, for, from round top. So it was a quick drive. Mm-hmm. The only issue is like, you know, if you couldn't go, if we wanted to stay there for dinner or something, it was mm-hmm. kind of a deal to come all the way back there and then go back. Yeah. Um, especially if you've been drinking all day. So, okay. So tell me about the shopping experience. Mm-hmm. Number one, uh, multiple questions. Did you use your cart? You said you drank no. all day. So did you drink like while you were shopping all day? Yes. And what did you buy? Okay. And how oh. many steps did you get in? I'm sure you don't know the number of steps specifically. Well, we but- did talk about mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Um, so the very first day that was Friday that we had the full day of shopping mm-hmm. and it fucking poured. <laughs> It rained so hard, of course, right when we left. Yeah. And so, therefore, I did not use a buggy. Um, I will say my cowboy boots that I brought, that I bought years ago at Box Turtle, mm-hmm. were amazing. They, they were able In to the get rain. wet. Oh, nice. Muddy. My feet did not get sopping wet, which was awesome. So, the she doesn't have those boots anymore. But, I mean, oh, my God, they were great. Because I wasn't sure. Did you know sure. it was going to rain? Did you prepare no. for rain? Well, we heard it was going to rain some. I wasn't expecting it like that. And a lot of this is in like mud. And then like, I mean, it was muddy. I did not take the stroller because of that reason. Mm-hmm. And I didn't end up using it at all. So I'm kind of pissed. <laughs> no one else had them either. Now, I would have probably, if I'd had um, a wagon or something, maybe. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it was kind of hard to like wheel in and out, I think, with something big. Um I bought quite a few things, and I will share my favorite thing that I got, and I was not planning on buying a hat. Now, I did, if I, there were so many people there that were doing hats that mm-hmm. were, it was so cool, but the biggest excitement was this place, it was called um, Kemosabi mm-hmm. Hats, 
I think the, my, I'm most excited about the damn case. I was going to say that case is really okay. cool. Yeah. And they were having a um, special. So they can, you can check these in. Uh huh. This is why I've never. T- check we didn't, it in. What do you mean? If you fly. Oh, you can like. You can, yeah. yeah, it'll go in your check in. And can you um, buy them online? Because I want that case. I know. I know. I'm going to find it. It's literally the same as like a, like a toolbox. Mm hmm. So is it like as heavy? It's a little bit light. It's yeah, more so plastic. It's, light. it's like plastic. It's metal, not metal. though. It feels um, like plastic. That's interesting. Yeah, it's metal. Um, so I, I, my biggest thing I've always wanted I wanted a black kind of a cowboy hat mm-hmm. also I want a straw cowboy hat but I couldn't do both I didn't buy them that one there um, so the also the best thing look at this this thing has a mirror in here cute Um, and it'll hold multiple if they stack okay. well are you gonna put yeah I'm gonna pull it out oh, Jesus. Jesus gosh you'd probably pay you'd probably pay half that for the case no so they were having a um, show you special you had to pay separate for the case yeah they, it was okay. 25 bucks Really? They they retail for like seventy five, but okay. it was a show special. But let me get to my most prized. Possession. We're making we're making a lot of noise on my microphone. I'm sorry. You can't. <laughs> my most prized possession is this hat. I love the red brand on the back. Okay, is that not cool? Uh-huh. So I chose the hat and I told her I wanted the the a cowboy style and of course that you know they they customize it and heat uh-huh. them to mold it and. It's a Stetson. <laughs> Put it on. Let me see. Okay. But um, I'm jealous. Oh my god, that's perfect. Isn't it awesome? That's that's perfect. I love this hat so oh, much. I'm so jealous. It's comfortable, mm-hmm. and um, and so you get to choose your bands, and you can you can the 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 endless amount of stuff that you can put on these things mm-hmm. are crazy. I know. But I'd we be did overwhelmed these, by choice. Yeah, and then I chose some some uh some feathers feathers came with it um i have a peacock and a couple other and then you can brand it so i decided to brand mine with red red i love it so um that is very i love cool. it what does matt think oh he loves it what well, the funny thing is he had already heard of this this brand i had oh, not wow. ever heard of it uh-huh. and some of the other girls have heard of it because of like the beverly hills housewives went what is the name of the brand chemo chemosabi okay and Anyway, yeah. So it has Cute. literally. I don't know. It's funny they have. Um, they were like put this in here, and it has like when I was when it was purchased, it has my name. They said keep <laughs> this card in here. And anyway, yeah, I love it. It fits perfectly. And they said I can wear this in the snow, uh-huh. in the rain. I can do. I can, it's it's all year round hat. Yep. Yep. Love it. That's love awesome. It. That is so cool. So, wear my hat. so you went to the antiques show and you bought yeah, so, a new hat. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, okay. So <laughs> let me explain that. So we there are tents and tents and tents for days, miles and miles and miles and miles. Mm-hmm. We and and we get a map. Um, you can you can get these publications that might have a map. Well, one of the girls that I follow on Instagram, her name is um, Totally Tika, mm-hmm. and she was so fun. Um, she actually made her own. She's from around that area, and sh- we had been following since all these people that we knew were sure. going to be at Round Top. Um, we've been following them on social, and she produced this uh, map, and it's great. And it's it was my favorite map because you could open it up, and she gives you the tips on what to do, um, how far the distances are, and then. So let me ask you this: um, Is this is this is only a limited time period, right? Yes, yeah, so it's two weeks. Okay. So they do a two week show in the spring and the and the fall, and then they do a three day show in January. So, um, what day? Like, how was this at the beginning? At the end? Oh, it was in the, the middle? end. Okay. So it ended on Saturday night. Okay. Um. So, uh, and, we, and that was our last full day of shopping. Mm-hmm. Now, um. We didn't really go into like furnitures and antiques things because we knew we wouldn't be able to get anything home. So yeah, like, yeah. why even do it? Yeah. And there and, and there were tons of those, but we there also are like a very large area that have accessories, and um, rugs, accessories, art, and so we went. There were two that we main ones that we wanted to hit, mm-hmm. and um, so those are the ones where we probably spent the most money. Yeah. And um, I got. Some jackets, like some, like, and, and let me tell you, like, there's something, like, the clothing that I bought, like, was not super expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, I did spend a little bit of money on this. And these, this, these, this girl, her name is Carla, and she was actually in the same tent as the um, 
boot girls that I was mm-hmm. going to see. Um, the Fraulein, Fraulein Boots. And this girl has a great business where she makes custom patches with leather uh-huh. or then she has a t- tons and endless patches and she can sew and customize anything like any of your clothes so you were i think were you telling us about this before like you were talking about like getting something on your jean jacket oh yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah so did yeah. you get that done i did i'm gonna show it to you before you okay. leave and i'll post it it is so cool Yay. it's turned that like 90s gap <laughs> uh, jean jacket and something special good yeah so it, it was that was fun i mean i am definitely going back that's awesome that's I mean, awesome it's funny because like uh what night friday night we went to dinner and had a great time at dinner and we went to this bar and this this famous bar there called the ellis motel and it's not a motel it's a bar mm-hmm. and so we're in there getting drinks and i look around i'm like there's no dudes here. <laughs> there were none. No, actually, I think there was like one da- one guy. Was he working the bar? No, <laughs> girls were working the bar. That's awesome. I was like, man, what dudes should be like? Hey, look at this. This is the place to go where all the ladies are. Oh, it's probably all married ladies. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. And it, everybody had like everywhere you looked, everybody had like cute outfits on. You mm-hmm. know, you had your your bandanas and your turquoise and your fringe and your cowboy boots. They were and your dressing hats. for the. Oh yeah, dressing it, for the it's occasion. So fun. It's That's so really fun. cool. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I'm glad you had fun. I know you were really looking forward mm-hmm. to it. So that's awesome. It definitely is like, to me, it's kind of like the Southern. It was like going to Vegas, mm-hmm. how exhausted you are, or going to New York. Yeah. Because you get up as fat early as you can, because we only had two full days. Mm-hmm. One was completely rain raining, but we still went. Mm-hmm. And the next day... I mean, same thing. We just had to get as much in as we possibly could. Yeah. And so, I mean, exhausted. Yeah. Absolutely exhausted. It um, was worth it. Well, good. Good, good, good. Yeah. It was fun. I'm glad you had fun. Well, we, like I said, had family in all weekend. So, like, we were doing stuff all weekend, too, mm-hmm. but not in the same train. But, like, we went out to dinner Thursday night. We went to Monster Bash Friday night. We went out to dinner Saturday night. You know, like, yeah. we just had, like, constant stuff going on and um a lot was going on in little rock this weekend yeah. and it did rain a lot and everybody's in costumes and all that stuff but um but it's good we had a great meal at red door which i haven't okay. like i haven't eaten dinner there in forever mm-hmm. like we we do brunch there a lot but they're doing their new um blue mesa menu every thursday night for just a oh. month which is not new it's bringing back all of his old recipes from when he had from yeah. uh, when the owner had blue mesa so he's only doing it one night a week and we did we were there the first night that he did it oh cool and um so i had the shrimp and, ca- and brie quesadilla which was oh, really good Oh, that was good and then um monster bash was such a big hit like good. i mean they were sold out and it was a lot of fun fun um, I wore four inch heels for the first time in several years. Cause you remember when that's like all I wore oh, yeah. all day, every day, I was in so much pain on Saturday <gasps> that like, wear? I didn't wear a costume. I just oh, wore okay. like black pants and I got like a cute, um, skeleton sweat, like a sw- uh, sweater from steamroller blues. Uh-huh. And then I wore like my Jimmy choose, like my, mm. you know, like I just love them. They make me feel good. But I mean, after standing all night, I was like, I had to like get the Theragun on my feet Saturday. I mean, I'm like, I am old. I am old and um I am not my feet have not been trained to do yeah. this anymore. They're trained yeah. for Birkenstocks and sneakers. Yeah. Um and then Saturday night we went to eat at Brood and Barley, which is always good. Uh-huh. And their cocktail menu is amazing. Really? And I was I was driving our big group on Saturday night, so I only had um one drink. I had the old fashioned and it was fantastic. But Matthew and I have vowed to go back and you and I need to go because they yeah. you know, they put out a new cocktail menu regularly and they have some really interesting cocktails on the list. So okay. I think we need to go check yeah, them out. I love that. Um, and, uh, and so it was good. We did our, we got our early voting in this weekend as well, cause voting has opened. And mm-hmm. so we went and got our voting in and I'm, I'm really excited to check that off the list. And, uh, it was, a, it was a good weekend. It was a good weekend, yeah. but I am worn out and yeah. it's Monday and like the week ahead is insane yeah. as well. Same, 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 same. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, it is, it is, I know I, I was at lunch today with Matt, we went to have lunch, and I mean, I just was like, oh my god, I just wanted to be like, we have to go, we have to hurry, I have so much to do, so. Where'd y'all go eat? Um, Threefold. Oh, nice. I hadn't been there before, I mean, the new location. The new location, yeah. okay, was it I good? I wanted to check it out, yeah, it was good, it was such just a nice day today. It, it was, I hadn't actually been out, of, well, no, I had to run errands at, around lunchtime. Matt um, needs to go get, we gotta get some, um, some candy. Just in case. Yeah, that's what I was doing as I was getting candy. I bought candy at the beginning of October, but my family ate it all. Um, and I don't do candy handout. Yeah. But 
Matthew wants to do candy handout. So um, I think he's going to do that. Okay, let's switch topics. I want to talk about what we've been watching. You probably haven't been watching much because you've been on the road, but I have to tell you about this new show on Netflix that I watched the whole series of yesterday. Okay. It is called Drink Masters, and it's a cocktail, like... um, is it like a reality game show, not game show, but like a, like a real like a cook. You know how they have like yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't watch any of that stuff, but it's like a they start with like twelve yeah. and they eliminate it down to like the one drink <gasps> no master. Way. And so it just came out yesterday, so I watched all the episodes. And um, tell was, me the name again. It's called Drink Masters. Okay, I'm gonna look for it. And um, I almost texted you about it yesterday, and I was like, no, I'm not, because she's not gonna have time to watch it, and no. I want to be able to talk about it today. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you that I learned so much. Like, I was, like, taking notes. I was, like, all this stuff that you can do that I just never thought you could do. Yeah. And they're, they're all um, – what I thought was really interesting is they started out, and they're all professional bartenders except for one. Okay. Um, one was, like, an ex like, – ex-home. At-home, you know, mixologist, but she's, like, an Instagram influencer mm-hmm. mix- mixologist that has, mm-hmm. like, you know, 100,000 followers or whatever. And – um. You could definitely tell a difference. Really? And I mean, I don't want to spoil it. Don't tell. Don't spoil. I, I, I won't spoil it. But. um, How many? Do you watch the whole, the whole I thing? I watch the whole thing <gasps> to the very end. But I'm going to tell you, they're like, we don't know what we're doing. We don't know what they're doing. Like what we're doing. Like the way they are like perfecting flavor. I mean, all we're doing is following recipes and, you know, putting it together like they are creating cocktails with flavor profiles that are amazing things I didn't even know you could do that I'm going to now try I mean like I am yeah I was so excited yeah 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 that's really cool I'll have to watch that I love you know the the thing that is so fun I you know I don't cook um but when we're having like when Matt and I are in the room together and Matt might be cooking and I'm just kind of doing and I want something to watch that we both can watch it's usually a reality show type show like Top Chef. Mm-hmm. Um, that's going to be the new one or, mm-hmm. you know, like or a home kind of type thing. So I'm totally bringing that out. Yeah. I mean, I find some of that stuff like super annoying. Like I hate like the scripted hosts and like the yeah. one liners and it's all that ho- stuff. Like, Do you know the host? It's or- Tone Bell. And I don't know who that is, but it, they made it sound like I'm supposed to know, but I don't. Um, and it's just so contrived. But I. But just the techniques that they were using to come up with the cocktails. But it was about presentation. It was about creativity. And it was about taste. So that's how they were judged was on all three things. And um, and it was just, I just, I I was like, did you know you can make like booze caviar? Basically, it's like little bubbles of booze. And, like, there's this whole, it's called molecular techniques. There's all these kind of molecular techniques that you can use to, like, create these aspects and components of your cocktails. I mean, they were literally scientists, which is what, like, I thought was so interesting. uh Like, they do that with food, too, some. Yeah. You know. I'm sure. I just don't ever watch the cooking um, shows. But that, I'm interested to see how they do that. I mean, like, not that I'm going to be able to really do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, some of them pulled it off and some of them didn't, but I'm going to try. Like, I was, like, looking up how to do it, and I was like, I was like, okay, I need all this stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. That's exciting. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay, what else are you watching? Um, did you watch the finale of The Patient? I did, last night. You did? Okay, what did you think? I was shocked. Well, I, I hated it. I know. I did not <laughs> expect that that to happen mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. I kept thinking, get up. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, it's been a week, so. But I mean, yeah, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I was like, if they had written an accurate synopsis of that show, I probably wouldn't have started watching it. Because the mm-hmm. way that it's written is to say, you know, a serial killer takes his therapist hostage to try to, you know, cure himself. Well, what it should have been written as a therapist battles his own internal demons, mm-hmm. you know, as he you know, sits in the lair of a serial killer. Yeah. I mean, like, to me, because it was more, it was more about mm-hmm. that than it was about the serial yeah. killer and that whole process. It was more about, like, Steve Carell's character and, like, what he was struggling with yeah. with his own family. I was kind of shocked about all that, too. And and I feel like they left it, like, okay, what, well, so is it going to be another one? And I didn't it's think be there was like... going to be another season at all. I'm not watching it if there is. I but... kept thinking, this is total. if you haven't watched it, because I was totally behind, but... When he cuffed himself to that bed, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, he's about to come. This was the whole part of the plan. He's going to come out of that room, and <laughs> he's going to get him. And now he's, like, locked up. 
Well, um, Matthew said that he read an article that said they filmed four different endings. And so that the actors didn't know even which one they were going to go with um, for the the season finale. But there were four different possible endings. I was like, well, I need to know what those other endings were. Or maybe not because I think I'm just done. Like, I'm, yeah. like I was so mad. I was just so mad because it's just only because it's not a show I would have watched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yes, the acting was tremendous. Steve Carell did amazing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like a two-man play, essentially. Mm-hmm. You know, it felt like a theater to yeah. me more like than... you can see the set mm-hmm. of, yeah, the and, lighting and everything. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. But I was like, so it was f- fabulous in that sense, but not something I wanted to watch. Yeah. And so I was real pissed. I was like mad for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I don't know. I- I'm behind on a lot, so... What else do you have? Because I don't think I've finished anything. <laughs> um, I really haven't watched anything else. I've got a, f- a few things in my queue to watch, but this week is not gonna. It's not gonna happen this week. Um, yeah. But um, I did listen to a podcast. Um, well, I like my favorite murder, which is mm-hmm. um, my favorite podcast. As but they had these two women on who did a podcast called the Murdoch Murders, which you've probably heard of. But I haven't listened. I'm so I'm starting their podcast, but it's about this like super influential family in. Oh. I think they're in South Carolina or North Carolina, and like this is a more recent thing. The guy yeah. was an attorney, and yeah, his yeah, son. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, he yeah, killed yeah. his son and wife, and all that kind of stuff. So these were the two women that were doing the investigative reporting on it. They were journalists, oh. and like they've been threatened and you know all that kind of stuff. And so it's really interesting. Um, but the way they were telling the story, it made me think of. Um, it was like Yellowstone. It's like the family is like the, you know, Kevin Costner's family in Yellowstone. Like they control everything. They put the people in office that they want in office. And, you know, like you don't cross them. The pol- so, They own the police, all that stuff. I was like, this is like Yellowstone in so South is, Carolina or wherever is this, it is. Is this particular episode like one episode or no. is it multiple? So I listened to the podcast I listened to mm-hmm. introduced this, oh, had, had them on okay. as guests. Gotcha. And so that was how I got, int- I mean, I've heard it in the news, but I haven't really paid that much attention to it. So now I've gone over to their podcast, which is called Murdoch Murders or okay. the Murdoch. And they've got like 70 episodes or something. So wow. I'm going back to like the very beginning to listen to it. I would like that. I think. Um, and which, which interesting is I'm sure as it goes on, it gets like more polished, but this is like the very early episode. So mm-hmm. it's kind of rough. Um, and so it's a little bit, you know, it's hard to yeah, listen yeah, yeah. to when it's rough. And so you kind of have to kind of get over that yeah. until they till they get their their groove down. But the story, I think, is really interesting. So I'm kind of into that right now. Yeah, it is. I remember watching and hearing a lot about that on the Today Show. Mm-hmm. Whatever. What year was that? Do you it's, know? It's been like in, it's like 2019, 2020. Yeah, it's I mean, it's like all been re- very yeah. recent. Yeah. I mean, I, I'll, I, that's interesting. I want to hear about that because it's totally family money fam- mm-hmm. big big influencers what happens yeah but it's like a tiny town apparently or it's like yeah. the county and um and people are just scared of them and all that kind of stuff so i it, but but there's been all these murders and nobody gets you know nobody gets prosecuted so yeah. uh so i'm so i'm kind of interested anyway it sounds like a real life yellowstone to me yeah okay i'm gonna watch that too and listen and listen i'm sorry yeah uh, one thing I definitely wanted to cover today was because today is air. This is going to air on November first. Is what is our November audiobook? Uh, Matthew Perry's. Um, I don't even know what he's calling it. I haven't even. It's something about friends. It's got friends in the yeah, title, okay. but whatever. It's his I, autobiography. I am so. You don't even understand. Like I've been. I pre-ordered this forever ago, and then when when it was announced, and and then lately he's been doing a lot of press. Um. And so, especially last week, I was like, oh my gosh, five more days till the, sh- the book comes out. And then, <laughs> and then yesterday, I was so wishing that I already had it so I can listen to it on the way home. Mm-hmm. But I'll be look- this- looking for well, it, Matthew. Um, so I'm going to listen to, I'm not looking forward to it as much as you are, but <laughs> I did, um, I watched his, you know, GQ 10 Things I Can't uh-huh. Live Without video or whatever. He has a very overwhelming obsession with batman like for real like his 10 things three or four of them were batman related it was he i think he's an odd duck i mean again i think most celebrities are because of again of how they are treated you know like they just but batman like he's got a weird obsession with batman (laughs) 
Okay. I like, so, like Batman. Apparently, apparently there's like a whole room in his house dedicated to Batman memorabilia. Like the car that he bought looks like Batman's car. What? Uh-huh. He has like a Batman hat, a oh Batman sweatpants. He makes, he makes people, he dresses up as Batman when he's having sex, I'm sure. <laughs> Probably. It's like, will you it wear like, this mask? I was like. Will a, you pretend to be the Joker? But I was just like, if you only pull 10 things that you can't live without and three or four of them are Batman related, like. <laughs> Like, I think his watch, his watch is Batman, too. Like, he bought it in Japan on some special trip. I mean, it was so strange. I was like, celebrities are weird. Don't I just, you kind of ruined him a little bit for me for a second. I, I'll get out of it. I didn't ruin him. He did it himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Apparently, he's also wished Keanu Reeves dead. And there's something, like, weird, like, weird about that. And I haven't dug into that but that ran around the headlines for a few days as well from all the all the press that he's doing for no particular reason oh i think it had something to do with aging (laughs) oh that's valid yeah (laughs) or like or drugs in the in the not 80s like everybody surviving i don't know i think i read like a headline i'm not yeah don't quote me on that one but so anyway anyway, that's our book (laughs) that's our book so we'll be we'll be reporting back on that um what else? Um, you know, I have to get back to work today. This, you know, I mean, I'm back to work, and there's a lot going on in November for me. So we have festival fashion this mm-hmm. Friday that the salon is helping with hair and makeup. So, so that's local. That's local. So who's what is what is festival of fashion? Um, it's oh, that's tie. That's right. That's right. The trees and all that stuff. God, yeah, already. It's crazy, isn't I thought it? Thought that wasn't until December. No, that it's usually in November. No, you're right. It is, but it's usually later in November because it's usually around Shannon's birthday. Yeah, it's like probably a week. Yeah, I guess it is. Mm-hmm. Well, um, so that's happening this weekend, and then the next weekend, the tenth, I'll be in Northwest Arkansas for the Northwest Arkansas Fashion mm-hmm. Event at Crystal Bridges and I cannot believe that that's in two weeks and I I am so excited about it are you ready I am not ready I mean <laughs> I am I, um I've gathered everything that I need to take and they're so nice and and, and are putting me up in an Airbnb and mm-hmm. that is so exciting and are you in an Airbnb by yourself or with other no stylists? I do have one uh, there's one other girl in the in, it's a three-bedroom Airbnb do you know her no huh um but I look forward to meeting her because everyone that I've met with this um is super awesome and um you know i'm not worried about i mean it is kind of i've never just gone to stay somewhere with a stranger but Mm -hmm. it's not like i'm gonna be there very long like i'm gonna have to work drive there go to bed be at crystal bridges in the morning and i'm literally there from like 9 30 to 8 p.m yeah you're gonna be tired and then that's such a cool experience it's also a very big um razorback game weekend so i wasn't even gonna try to like do anything. go into Fayetteville yeah, and yeah, do all sure. that stuff so it'll be fun I'm excited about that so that's something I can't wait to talk about after <laughs> the fact so yeah anyway and then you go into Thanksgiving I mean god it's just like I hate this is I love November De- I love October November December but they're always super busy it is it's a crazy crazy time yeah. anyway all right okay girl well, let's get to it good catching up cheers cheers, cheers.